to this week, but things are a-changing. We've gone from a northerly flow and we're going to see more of an Atlantic flow for the next oh, few days. Oh, wet. Yes, but today, <laughs> well, we've had some lovely, lovely weather today. Let's have a look at your photos. A beautiful sunrise this morning and this photo was taken at Bewley Mill by uh, Sue Knight. Angela Walters spotted this roe deer enjoying the warm sunshine in her garden in Prince's Risborough. And stunning scenery there at Kingley Vale near Chichester. Thank you to Shireen Sykes for that one. Yes, in short, we are expecting to see some wet weather this week, but let's not write the whole week off. There will be one or two downpours, but there'll be some sunnier skies at times as well. And we got off to a pretty decent start to the week today. Tomorrow, we stick with those fine conditions, but through the middle part of the week, things becoming unsettled. Wednesday does look to be the worst day in terms of wet weather and rounding off by Friday with some sunshine and scattered showers. So let's take a look ahead to tonight then. Dry conditions through our region overnight, and we can expect maybe some patchy cloud here and there but generally clear skies overhead temperatures tumbling as a result down to six or seven degrees in our towns and cities a tad cooler in rural spots perhaps some patchy mist to get things started first thing tomorrow but all in all a decent start to tuesday it looks like we'll see some good sunny spells warm sunshine through the morning the cloud though beginning to build in from the west as the day draws on and thickening up as we head into the latter part of the afternoon tomorrow's top temperatures 16 or 17 degrees. So through the course of tomorrow evening that cloud still continuing to thicken, a few spots of rain starting to arrive from the west, patchy outbreaks of rain through the overnight period and then as we get into the early hours that's when we start to see the heavier bursts. With that cloud coverage across our region overnight temperatures not quite as cool so holding out at 10 or 11. To Wednesday morning, through the morning rush hour, that's when we could see the really heavy bursts, the potential for some really heavy downpours. The band of rain, though, sweeps through. Behind it, we see some scattered showers, and they could be rather heavy, perhaps with some hail and thunder. Temperatures not quite as high as they have been in recent days. Then to Thursday, you can see the weather systems pushing in from the Atlantic, and we will have further outbreaks of rain. So Thursday, we start on a dry note, but becoming wet as we end the day. And into Friday, we can expect to see some scattered showers around it, though some decent dry and sunny weather at times. So taking a look at the head to the weekend, we can expect it to be pretty blustery with some shower and rain at times, but some sunshine on offer too. Sarah, thanks very much. Guess what? They found Gilbert. Right. Yeah, oh, a life-size zebra. Remember me telling you about this? Well, a find has been reunited with his owners after he was stolen from Southampton. Gilbert, there he is, he's known, leaving Southampton <laughs> Police Station earlier oh, today. Yes. <laughs> Statue is due to be part of an art trail of 150 zebras. And uh, Gilbert was taken on Tuesday, but after an online appeal by his owners, Marwell Wildlife Park, he was found by police in a back garden and taken home. Oh. Good on Gilbert then. We're going to see him on the Returned. trail. That's it from us. More <laughs> at 8 and 10.30. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.